um, I'm testing the sample. This basically, I, I, I was writing code in QB ooh, about 20 years ago, 30 years ago maybe, before I went on to the more graphical user interface type stuff. But it just shows you that I can actually still remember a lot of the script, a lot of the commands and stuff. It's not perfect, far from it, but um, yeah, basic keyboard entry is just a little bit of a program for keyboard entry. Um, there's the keyboard entry strings and idle keys. Right, I'm just going to run it. There's, it is still a couple of bugs in it, but if you look at it, there's the program running. Obviously, it's set up the keyboard and the entries. Uh, so if I just go Nick, it changes it. Um, address. It's got seven, seven, seven. It actually automatically, if it's text. There's it. If you go to an end, it won't allow it any further. It is still a bug on the backspace, so I've got to sort that out whether or not I bother. So it's only a sample, a bit of code, what I wrote. A, B, C, D, E, F. Converts it to uppercase. And then um, email. Net, blah, blah, blah. I can validate that into just being able to read just simplified. Um, character set and this one will only allow mail or female MRF right so there you go that's it done it doesn't count I couldn't carry the string later but obviously it's been a while since I wrote some visual basic or visual BC7 basic I'm still doing um, I don't know yet I used to do all sorts of languages but they it's quite a good little language, this, you know, this cube. Yeah, it's very similar to the original. The only thing is, my background used to be green. <laughs> but I wrote it on an early, I think it was about 400 megahertz. Um, probably a Pentium. I forget now. You know what, I've had that many computers over the years. Because I, I developed a lot of software. Right, <laughs> enough of me moaning. Ciao.